All right, if you like the music of Carol King, you'll love the Shreveport Little Theater summer production. Opens Thursday and features dozens of classic tunes that'll be still here on the airwaves and in TV commercials today, a half a century later. Songs like You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman and You've Got a Friend, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Joining me here right now are two actors in the production, Luke DiGilormo and Barbara Holmes. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about the, uh, the musical. What can we expect? Well, um, it's the story of Carol King, how she got her start writing music, how she met her first husband, Jerry Goffin, and how they collaborated writing music together. So a lot of it is going to be featuring their songwriting process while you get to see that performed. Um, and also, it's not just Carol's music. You get They uh, meet uh, Cynthia Weil and Barry Mann, played by uh, Tessa Vanderkai and Kyle Boston, respectively, and you get to, they have kind of a friendly rivalry, okay. and you get to hear music from them as well, so a bunch of music from that era. I mean, those two songs we just named, they're fantastic. Oh, they are. They're classic. Oh, absolutely. So who do you play, Miss Barbara? I am one of, the, one of the Shirelles, and I am a featured soloist in the show, so okay. I'm excited to sing some of the Shirelles' music also. Awesome. So how important is it to highlight stuff like this? Oh, I mean, extremely. It's, I mean, these are these are artists, these are creators, and I mean, we're we're artists in our own way too. So we wanna we wanna honor that. I mean, these are people who cared about their craft and put a lot of work into it. And there's a reason these songs are classics. <laughs> so we wanna make sure that we do those as much justice as we can. You know. You know, we talked about it a little bit, but give us some hints of what people can expect when they come out. <laughs> you will laugh. Okay. You will cry, mm -hmm. and it will give you a respect for the music and how she incorporated the different ethnicities, you know, in her music. You know, mm -hmm. because back in the '60s and the '50s, it wasn't too popular. But it was. It's just you're gonna cry. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna be mad at Luke. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be mad at Luke. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> why do you think her music is so endearing over the years? Um. Honestly, it. It comes a lot from, to, to put it simply, it just came from the heart. I think a lot of her music, uh, both when she was writing with Jerry and afterwards when she was purely telling her own experience, it she was pouring a lot of her own feelings into that, and I think you could feel that. And it's especially, you feel it more after seeing the events of the show unfold. Like, I don't know, maybe even if you've grew, grown up listening to that music, maybe you'll some of those lyrics will have kind of a new meaning once mm. you see, you know, what went into them. Right. Awesome. Well, right. Tell people where they can go and how they can get tickets. Uh, you can get tickets uh, by going to the website at ShreveportLittleTheater.com. That's a uh, theater with an R-E. Uh, or you can call the box office at 318-424-4439. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Well, Barbara, Luke, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Sounds amazing. And uh, yes. can't wait to see some of the clips. So. Thank you. Thank so you very much. Thank you all so much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, absolutely.